now you get a chance to see how it really works and how easy it is to install. And we have the perfect person to show us just that, Dr. Tom Harmon. Hi there, how are you doing? Hello, Teresa. I'm glad to be here. Thank you so much for joining us. Can you tell us a little bit about your background? I'd be glad to. I'm a professor of engineering. I've been a member of the National Electrical Code Committee for over 30 years. I've written a number of books, Guide to the National Electrical Code, and I was one of the co-inventors of the supercharger technology. And what I'd like to do today is explain how the supercharger works and give several demonstrations of its performance. Here we have an installation at a home of a tank water heater and the supercharger. There's an accompanying video that shows the details of the installation and how simple it is. The idea is that the cold water flows into the tank, flows down into the tank, is heated, rises to the top, and when an outlet is opened, a faucet or a shower, the hot water flows out of the tank, through the supercharger, and into the home, to the shower, to the outlets. The problem without a supercharger, as that water flows to the outlets, it loses temperature. It loses temperatures because of heat losses in the pipes. So at the shower or at the faucet, the hot water faucet, the temperature may have dropped five or 10 or even more degrees. The other issue that occurs is as hot water is drawn from this tank and the cold water pours in to replace it, the average temperature of the water leaving the tank is reduced. And after so many minutes of water flow, the tank water becomes colder and colder. Consequently, the temperature at your shower becomes colder and colder. And the purpose of the supercharger is to increase the water temperature from the hot water tank as the water in the tank cools. The water in the tank cools because cold water flows in as the hot water flows out of the tank. And the average temperature in the tank then reduces. At the shower, we would like to have a constant hot water temperature. And we would expect that after a short time, the water temperature from the tank with a shower running and perhaps another outlet would drop below the comfort region. The supercharger, when it's activated, will raise the temperature of the water out of the tank to that comfortable set point that would be needed for a shower. First, I'd like to explain the instrumentation that we've installed to show the performance of the supercharger. We are measuring the temperature from the output of the hot water heater. We are also measuring the temperature of the hot water from the supercharger. There's also a current meter which tells us about the power to the supercharger. Here, we have a flow meter that tells us the number of gallons per minute. To understand that, a typical shower might require one and a half to 1.8 gallons per minute of hot water, and that would be mixed with cold water. Some people would like it a little warmer, some people would like it uh, uh, less hot. So with this instrumentation, we can show the effect of running a shower, turning on various outlets to see how the temperature changes in the tank and see how the supercharger recovers and boosts the temperature back to a comfortable temperature for your shower. Now for this demonstration, we want to turn on a shower in the home and record the temperature from the hot water heater and the temperature out of the supercharger and the temperature of the shower it would be the same because the supercharger is not connected in this demonstration. 
and we will also measure the flow rate. Now with the shower on, we see that the flow rate is 1.7 gallons per minute of hot water, which is typical. I'd like to now have a hot water faucet turned on, which will increase the flow rate by a reasonable amount. Now our water's been flowing at two and a half gallons per minute for 10 minutes. And we can look at the temperature from the tank, which is now 111 degrees Fahrenheit. It has dropped from 130 degrees. Right. The supercharger is still not connected electrically. The temperature out of the supercharger is the same as the temperature from the hot water tank. So temperature of the water from the hot water tank is slowly decreasing and it will get colder and colder. So we will come back in another 10 minutes and find out what the result is. We're back again after another 10 minutes. We see the temperature from the tank is 105 degrees. It dropped from the initial 130 degrees. The water is still flowing at two and a half gallons a minute. So it's clear that as the water continues to flow, the temperature will continue to drop. By this time, the shower and the hot water faucet would not be hot enough for most people and they would begin to feel they're running out of hot water. Now the next segment of the demonstration will show how the supercharger will prevent that from happening. As a second part of the demonstration, we'd like to show how the supercharger will keep the person in the shower in endless hot water. We've turned off the water for a period of time, and the tank water heater has recovered. Its output temperature is now at 125 degrees. The water has been turned on again and is flowing at about 2.5 gallons per minute. The tank water temperature will decrease until it reaches the temperature of the set point of the supercharger at about 115 degrees Fahrenheit. When the tank water temperature falls below that set point, the supercharger will turn on and will continue to output water at that set point temperature. Now we see the great advantage of the supercharger. The tank temperature has dropped to 112 degrees Fahrenheit, but with the supercharger activated, the output temperature from the supercharger to your shower is about 115 degrees now, and it's holding steady. This amperage gauge is indicating that the uh, supercharger is activated and heating the water from the tank. As the tank temperature keeps falling, the supercharger will keep the output temperature to the outlets and to the shower at about 115 degrees Fahrenheit. As you can see at the end of our demonstration, the temperature of the water from the tank has dropped below 105 degrees Fahrenheit. However, the temperature of the water from the supercharger is held steady, making the shower temperature very comfortable. This family will not run out of hot water as long as the supercharger is activated.